G'day, welcome to the Rich on Toddy Potty, episode 18. Finally the legal. Yeah, we're legal. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a joke about that. Yeah, we? <laughs> yeah we're up there now. Yeah, no, we we're are. We're legal. We can drink. Yep. Um, yeah, so I might catch us with a beverage in our hand over the next few episodes, I think. Yeah, we did that the first one, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, because originally the plan was to get pissed and talk. Yeah, it never went that way, but... Oh, it's an episode like that's going to be coming soon, I'd imagine. <sighs> Very soon, I would like to think. Yeah, I think... Um, Maybe if we get someone on that's a bit of a piss head. Yeah, that'll be a bit of a no-brainer. Yeah, <laughs> we might have a few that's lined up, actually. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's very true. Um, I reckon there's a few people I know that would like to come on that also like to drink. Yeah, but I know a lot of people who like to drink, so and a lot of people would want to come on, so... Yeah, good job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, no guests this week. Um, we've had, what, three people lined up for today, for today? Yeah, we had three different people that were keen, and all three of them pulled out yep. and said we can do it next week. So, might be an action pack one next week. But yeah, I think um might be a couple on next week, actually. So yep. Bit of a double header. So, stay tuned for have that. Have we had a double header before? No, no, we haven't. No, we have not. No, so we, that had ben, we had Ben coming last week. But yeah, that's like not us. He's a bit of a. Third wheeler, really? Any? Yeah, he's the unofficial third member. Yeah. Um, Just ask him. Yeah, he'll tell you all about it. Yeah. We have got a double couch parked up over there, so. Yeah, wait and go. It's been sitting there for a bit. So. Yeah. Just for backup in case we get a couple more on. Yeah. Um, how's your weekend, mate? Uh pretty chill. Just chill. you know the footy, the soccer. Yeah. Got it done. Got out of the way. Usually this time of year. Yeah. Bit of a quiet one Saturday night. Yep. Actually, really enjoyed it. Actually, a bit of cleaning, bit of YouTube really? watching. Um, just some locker versions and oh, some okay. live music it was good. Yeah, nice. Bit of playing the guitar. I yeah. played the guitar in fucking months. So. How, how do you go on the guitar? Uh, I'm not great. Like a bit pretty new, like a uh, basic. Yeah. But I'm all self-taught, so. Oh, okay, yep. But you know, just watching YouTube videos and how to play and how other people play. So. Yeah. All in all, um, I like to say I can play the guitar, but I'm just like that. Every other uh, every other person in high school that learned smoke on the water. Yeah, I can't even remember how to play smoke on the water. I remember how to play it. Um, don't ask me, but I just yeah, yeah it just comes comes along when I get into it. Yeah, yeah, no, I can play a few songs. We probably play half a dozen. Maybe, yeah, no, I probably play play a dozen. Yep. Um, yeah, a lot of Oasis ones. And Good little talent to have, I think. Being able to play an instrument, especially the guitar, and just be able to pick it up because a lot of yeah. people be surprised when people have a guitar around at their yeah, house exactly. and just pick it up. And, play something everyone thinks that's pretty cool yeah exactly you always find that's you know that one that sounds good like looks like an expert playing it yeah yeah i've got yeah. one um wonderful tonight by eric clapton yeah yeah there's a little, eric clapton. there's a little lick in there that's you know pretty looks pretty good playing it yeah it's one of my favorite to play so you look like a bit of an expert when you do that yeah it's like when people get on the piano and do something like that as well yeah you know? i'd love to be able to play the piano yeah yeah i reckon i'd rather play the piano than the guitar yeah true so I'm another, yeah, that's another one. I'm getting on the piano and all I can play is right away. Yeah. And it's literally just like pressing one key every couple of seconds. Oh, I feel it's a churn, I feel late while I'm doing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but um, no quiet weekend. Not, um, nah, nothing, nothing serious. No just, serious. Yeah. Obviously, you had your last footy game. I did. I did. How'd that go? Well, big one, actually. Yeah. Um, so something exciting pretty happened. So I was lucky, lucky enough to play with the old man. Yes. Um, wanted to do it all year. Um, uh, playing in a team in the Magoos that was always pretty short, I thought maybe this would be the year to do it and he's not getting any younger. Yeah. Um, was going to do it earlier in the year, but it didn't get around to it. And it sort of came up Thursday night because there was another father and son in the team at that point. Yeah. And I asked him, he was keen, was ready to go. Um, turned out there's going to be a couple more father and sons. So ended up being four father sons four in the same sons game. in the same game. Went all over Facebook, actually. Um, yeah, right. Oh yeah, no, I did say that. Yeah, it was shared by the, the South Australian Football uh, nice. SE footy scores. Yep. So I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm. But no, yeah. Um, they do seem to get around that. The, all the footy pages, don't they? The Father Sons and the things like that. Yeah, oh, you know, you actually want to know something funny. Got to work this morning and the, uh, the groundsman there, good mate, the groundsman, good fella, um, comes up to me and goes, oh, I saw that was on the um, South Australian Football. Mm. And I was like, oh yeah, and he goes, oh, what's the go with them only posting teams that are in red and black? And I sort of thought, I think their logo is like black with a red footy in it or something like that. Yeah, right. And I was like, oh, I reckon they post more than teams that are just red and black, like in South Australia. He goes, no, nah, well, they had like the four father sons, like, and they were all in red and black. 
was like, <laughs> yeah, they're all in the same That's game. That's all. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when me and Milan, all my brothers played together, they posted it as well. Oh, did they? Yeah, and there was one, a, one that was a bit bigger as well that posted it. Yeah, right. I didn't know that. I didn't, see, I didn't even see that. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't, yeah, they didn't get a lot. Of, you know, there was the, the bigger one that posted it. They get like normally get like three thousand likes for all of them. So, yeah, yeah. Or something like that. We're like fifteen. I didn't even say a photo. You can actually yeah. show me a photo. Yeah, right. Before I have to lined up. Yeah, right. You, you, I'm assuming you've got one. Yeah, I've got one. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, no, it was wicked. He um, just quietly just picked me for best on. Yeah, he did. Um, but you got second. So I did get second. I'm that, really that's sure. nice as well. Get. Getting the best together, first and second. Yeah, can't well, complain about that. He, um, yeah, he coming up like a like he been fired out of the cannon, first bounce. Yeah, like he never got left. Off, got a hold in the ball within the first ten seconds. Yeah, right. Actually, burnt the fuck out of me. Um, I was on for a lead. I started at half forward, mm. um, and had a good lead, and he just kicked it straight up the middle. And I was like, yeah, thanks. Nice. I was thinking in my head, this could be this could Link be, up. be something. Yeah, and then yeah, that turned to shit. But um, not really sure. How that happened? He only ha he's only playing on one hamstring in the last quarter and a half. So. Yeah, you said that. But no, he just he just sat in the hole and copped it in the back of the head for the rest of the day. Get yeah, it in the back pocket. So. Yeah. No, it was very good. Pulled up pretty sore too, I heard. Yeah, no, he's uh, not doing real flash at the moment. I don't think. <laughs> uh, well, it's well well worth it, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, it was definitely. I don't I, think never I'll never do it again. Never forget it. So yeah, very proud. Yeah. Oh, you know, you might do one more time. Never yeah, know. I reckon we stop it there. Yeah. Him best, me second. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. That's good. Um, but yeah, obviously, last game, we're going to bus and... Yeah, it's bus trip. We did. Yeah? Yeah. Um, sunk a few, put away a few cans. Um, went to the Durban pub. Yep, how'd that go? Unbelievable pizza. I haven't been there in like, probably nearly a decade. Jeez, I make you sound old. But like, pizza is unreal. Yeah. Have you been there? Nah. Been, me and Jack have been talking about going there for ages. Just Unreal. one day, Bun just going up there and Bundy on tap. Yeah, that's why we were talking about going. <laughs> that's that's a game changer. Yeah, massive game changer. I reckon there'd be a few punch ons down at the Durban pub. Did you have a Bundy on Saturday tap? Night. No, I didn't. I didn't, didn't, it didn't even cross my mind. I didn't even buy a drink there. Really? No, I was already ticking along pretty well. So mm. I thought, I think Chad bought me a drink because I bought him one back at Caster's, mm. and then did not even cross my mind to get a Bundy on tap. Oh, yeah. Which is probably good. I didn't have a Bundy on tap for mm. the night. Um, yeah, because that could have ended pretty badly. Could have, <laughs> definitely. <could've. laughs> um, <laughs> but no, yeah, no, I completely forgot about that. Um, yeah, that'll be that. We might have to go up there for a, once footy's all done. Yeah, well, footy, footy's obviously done for you. But once all we're I'm done, might have to make a trip up there. Yeah, and do it for a sad day. Do yeah, we play at tarps and run over there? Yeah, afterwards, it's only a half an hour away, I think. Yeah, it's not too far, so yeah, it'll be worth the trip. Yeah, nice little. Get away. But yeah, no, it was a good trip. Good um good to finish up the year, I'll say finally, but um yeah, it was a it was a slog of a year, so yep. hopefully next year we reset, go again, um and hopefully win more than one game. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Getting <laughs> but at least it was one. Got the one, so Yeah. Well big, yeah. Poor old poor old Tommy McCourt. Didn't play in a win all year. Yeah, that's just out that's in the twos and the one win. Yeah, I'm a bit the same at the moment. Um, I played in the A's the first round we won that game that's the only game I won for the year oh, no. I missed the win in the Bs so hopefully we can get one more but yeah not looking not looking likely with two rounds to go no I should be up yeah just ride it out and do it yeah that's, that's all it you can do. yeah yes it's hard to at the moment mate, obviously it's getting <laughs> I, know, I know mate you tell me when it's you get to that point in the end yeah it's and you know you know the season's gone yeah if you've got something to look forward to at the end of the year with a you know, a final coming up or something like that. Yeah, something to sort of build towards. But yeah. I think about three rounds in there wasn't anything to build towards. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, three months of just fuck. Yep. Yeah, yeah my just the first half went pretty quick. I was like, yeah, it's good. Yeah. And then realising that probably nothing gonna ha happen out of this year, the second half's gone pretty slow. Yeah, well. So is what it is. Oh we live and you learn with that though, yeah. Yeah, that's it. But yep. yes. Our weekends. Pretty 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 yeah, great weekends. Yeah, great yeah, weekends. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll just yeah, leave it there. Um, yeah. I reckon we should just get straight into the Instagram questions. Yeah, I think. Just push, um, get them out of the way. Obviously, being the two of us, we're both pretty boring. Um, so You know a lot about us, obviously. You know, there's not much more you, yeah, we can you tell listen, you. You listen to our bullshit every week, so I think we should just get straight through it. Mm. All right. Uh, you, pick, really... you pick your three favourites. Yeah, I'll get on to what I've sort of got there. I'd done that. 
Um, it was, they're gone. This could be a bit of fun actually, to find their questions. Oh, you've lost them. Yeah. They haven't popped up on our um, notifications. You have the right Instagram account? Yeah. Definitely. Oh no, this could be destroyed. Hmm. Yes. Don't you remember what they were? Uh, I do remember one. Sort of. Oh no, it's gone to absolute shambles. This has gone to shambles actually. Um, just give me a second here. I, think I, I, I know where to find them. I think I remember one from Sam. That was... Oh no, here we are. Oh, you got them? Okay. Alright, you read them out. Do this. Okay, we got one from Levi. Okay. Hello, Levi. Levi. There you go, mate. Levi. This one's uh, footy related. Um, I'm gonna. He's got two questions in here. Uh, I'm gonna join them together. Right. Okay. So we've got who's winning the flag and how far can the pies go? Okay. Yeah, that's a good one to join together. Yep. Um, Levi, it's long not winning the flag. No. Um, sorry, brackets here, mate. I. I think I back the pies. To win it. You got yep. you're backing them to go all the way. You know, you ever heard the story of the baby bombers back in ninety three? Uh yep. Tips to tip to go nowhere. Yep. Come out and won the flag. Yeah. I think it's a repeat. I think that was the year the got robbed actually, but just say no. Ninety three? Yeah. Didn't play them in the grand final, but it oh. was like I think we played if I'm historically correct, it was either ninety three or ninety four, we played Essendon. In the prelim, yeah, and it was pretty much whoever won that game was gonna win the grand final. Okay. Carlton, I think that like Carlton. Yeah, I think that was. That sounds about right. And Carlton were leagues behind the two of them. Yep. So, and I'm pretty sure there was a pretty controversial call in there, something like that. So. Yeah, okay. As I think that does ring a bell, actually. Yeah. I don't know. But they obviously went on to win it, so. Yeah. Well, that's right. That's the main thing. Very young team. Um. Yeah. Not tip to do much at the start of the year. Come yeah. out and win it. I think the Pies can do that. Yeah. I. Wasn't buying into them until probably the last couple of rounds when they beat Melbourne. Yep. That one where they kick, where Jamie Elliott kicked goal after Siren to beat yeah. Essendon. Probably the best goal I've ever seen. I'm going to put that out there right now. Yep. Like he kicked it as the Siren was going 50 out on the boundary to win the game. Yeah, that I don't cool. think it gets much better than that. No, I don't think so. So I'll back that in as the best goal I've seen. Um, but yeah, I seriously buy into them. When they beat Melbourne Friday night, it was Friday night. Um, yeah, they gave me a lot of hope for them to go all the way. Geelong will be the biggest challenger. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I think still think Melbourne are going to be there. Yeah, but they're just not showing us at the moment. I don't think. Yeah, I think there's a bit of um, lacking a bit of chemistry. Mm. Stephen Mays uh, bringing that team down. Stephen May. Yeah. Bloke looks like a bug. He's bringing the team down. Why is he bringing the team down? Because he's a he's a shit he's a shit bloke. Just a shit bloke. <laughs> he's an absolute shit bloke. Good football player, like. Well, yeah, well, he's a good footy player. But if you if you see Maisie and you see your best mate out there, you're not going to kick it to Maisie, are you? <laughs> I guess not. Maisie's he's just a, he's just a shit. Bloke. He just brings bad energies. Okay, so you reckon that's that's the cause? That's the fall down. The general at backs, um, no one really trusts him because he punched what's his name, Melchior in the face. Yeah, Melchior. What do you say? We you played the grand final. We wouldn't have won. We wouldn't have won. That, that's top banter. That is top banter, but ended with um <laughs> incident and punch on. Yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty bad thing to say yeah. to a bloke who uh didn't play in the grand final. Yeah, that's a bit rough. I can understand how that ended. Yeah. Why that ended the way it did. No, well, fair yeah. enough. Jakey Melchin just to um yeah. chuck a left hand around him. Yeah. I mean, he already fractured his wrist or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think he did. Um, I'm not backing the pies. No, who you got? Well, my reason behind not backing the pies is I just think that they're going to run out of luck. You know what I mean? I'm not saying they've been lucky to win 11 on the road. You can't just get lucky to win it, but they would have had some luck along the way. So oh, yeah, they definitely had a lot some of luck, luck along the way. And I just think they're going to burn themselves out of it. Ooh. They're just going to come to I reckon they lose a prelim. They don't make, no, make the granny. They're just going to just... For sure. I reckon they've been built tough with all these close wins. I reckon they know what to do now. Yeah. There were games they definitely could have lost, but they 
they fought and won them. Yeah, I just, I just don't think. I just, I just have a feeling there's something else to come. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I love it. A I bit of arrogance it. might come into it. Just you know. Nah, I'm not thinking, from that team. Nah. Just you know, they get to a close game in like a prelim or something like that, and it's just going to go right. We've got this. There's no way we can lose it because we haven't lost it all year. Yep. And just you know, just a little lack of concentration. I think is going to be. The, you reckon that's going to that's, that's going to get them? That's what I'm thinking. They're going to beat themselves. Not no yeah, one's going to beat them. No one's going to beat them. I don't think. I think at the moment they're playing the best footy. Yeah. So, like, yeah. No besides one's Geelong, gonna... I think besides Geelong, Geelong are pretty unbeatable at the moment. Yeah, and I'm probably going to say Geelong are going to win it. Okay. But I don't want to because no, I don't oh, trust geez, them. I hate Geelong. Because I don't, I don't trust them either. Because that every year it feels like they should be just about it. They're always there, but they're never always there. No, I feel like it's going to be. It's it's very hard to call right now. Yeah. Um, but I'm not. I'm not going to say that a top eight, a top eight team, not a, top, a non top four team, is going to win it at the moment. None of them are going to win it. I'm not saying that they can't. Oh, okay. Is my point because oh, normally, because can... historically. I think there's only been like three teams that have won outside the top four. Yeah, that's true. I think this year could be has potential for it to happen. I would say a Sydney or yeah, a, I was gonna say Sydney Dark Horse. A Sydney maybe. or a Richmond winning it. No, not Richmond. Richmond are Richmond are ass. Yeah, I say that too. But when finals turn around. Oh, jeez, I hope not. I hope not too. And I think we're pro you're probably saying it because you don't want to see it happen. Yeah, I hate. I that. don't want to see it happen at all, but I can see it happening. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I don't know. They're still a pretty strong crushed. squad. Yeah, they are. They've they've been there. They've and been they, there before. They so know they how to win. They know how to do it. Yep. I think that yeah. I think any time Richmond over the last five or six years go to finals, it's going to be. They're always there. They're going to be a chance. They're a chance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll back them. I don't want to back them there. I, but you, I really you can't ride against. I really them. don't want them to win. I'm pretty, trust me. Quick, you you preach into the choir. Sorry. After they did using 27 hours. Yeah, well, I don't think they did us in. I think we did ourselves in, but, yeah. you know. You are like the pies, did yourselves in. Yeah, I think so. So, But, obviously, they were good on the day, but I think the way we played. You were the better team of the year. Yeah. Definitely. I think, yeah. We lost it. They didn't win it. Yeah. So, I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to say Collingwood for a prelim. Okay. But I don't see them get any further. Um, and I'm going to stick with Geelong for now. Pies to at least make the grand final. You say that? Yep. Yep. Pies to at least make the grand final. That's where they're going to finish. Um, and either them or Geelong. Yep. Very cool. I don't mind that at all. Yep. We'll stick with that. Um, all right. I reckon we'll move on to the next one then. Yep. Um, one from Eddie. Oh, yes, Eddie. Eddie. Good Eddie. Oh, thanks for the question, uh, Levy, as well. Yeah, thanks, oh, right. Levi. Levy. Yep. you got the Chevy. Um, where do you see yourself in 10 years' time? Probably here. Probably here. <laughs> right in. <laughs> probably, probably drinking a Jack Daniels sitting on his couch. Yeah, that would be the dream. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it's probably not going to be like that. No. I'm probably going to have a job and have a family. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the ideal. Look forward to that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no. Finish my uni. Um, be a full-time teacher. You'll be... No... You'll be 29? 29, yep, about yep. to turn 30. Yeah. About to have a big party. So I'm looking, I'll probably be planning my party around this time of the year. Yeah, you would be, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, have a family. Have a family. By then. That's the aim. Yep. Yep. But, you know, obviously, a teaching job, ideally. Yeah, definitely. Here? Mount Gambia? Um, or not really? Or 10 years? Probably not here. Probably not here? No. Reasons? Don't know, don't know where. Um, well, I think I'll go away to Adelaide. It's going to depend on whether I like that or not. Yeah. Um, but I think there's just so many other places to be. Yeah. Mount Gambia's probably not be all and end all. Okay. You never know. I might stay here. Yeah. Might. Uh, so I think raising a family is where you want to you want to raise a family here. No, I'd love to raise a family here. But I wouldn't want to raise them in the city. Yep. Yeah. I'd rather raise them in a, a pla like a place similar to Mount Gambia, like yeah, a, like a Warrnambool or something like that. But not the city. Yep. Like not in Melbourne or Adelaide or anything close by like that. Yep, I agree on that one. I um What about you? In ten years time. Yeah. I really don't know. Are we thirty one? Hell. Hell. So So you would have just had your party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um I don't know. To be honest, thinking about it, I 
obviously you would have liked to have by then probably done a fair bit of travelling. Yep. A lot of overseas stuff, so potentially overseas still. Yeah. Whether yeah. I like it or not. Um but if you know, probably around that time I would like to have thought I'd just settle down a bit and have a family of some sort of whatever that is, whether it's just have a, a little, have partner little, or a couple a of kids. Or, yeah, maybe, potentially. <laughs> um you know, at least probably a partner by that time. Yeah, you yeah. Know, thinking about kids is probably where I'd want to be. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, and if I was going to raise kids, I'd like to, at this point in my life, I think, when I'm thinking in 10 years' time, I'd like to be here. Yeah. I think this is probably my perfect spot for a, to raise a family. Yeah. I think it's, I think Mount Gamby is central enough, like, either way you go, you're in the middle of Melbourne yeah. or Adelaide. Yeah. Close to the beach still a, like a country town yeah it's, it's got both sides of it. you know it's a bit it's a, it's a big country town yeah but you also got that local small town feel yeah feel to it so i think it's got a bit of everything and i think it's probably the perfect spot to, for a young family yeah it has got the opportunities for people to go yeah go and do stuff exactly. and still stay here yeah thing. so that's probably if i'm in australia i'll be here i reckon yeah in 10 years time i don't want that so back on the potty yeah, <laughs> start back up ten years time. Yeah, see how that go. Couple yeah. of dads, couple of yeah, the dad, the dad the dad, podcast. <laughs> the dad pod, oh, the dad pod, or dad pod, some... dad pod. Oh, yeah, nice. oh, really we like just that. got that. I really like that. No one steal that. We've just yeah. come up with that. We're going to copyright that, that right pod. now. The dad pod, yep. the dad pod pod, dad pod. Nah, just dad pod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's um copyright right now. Yeah, um, yeah, I, that's probably yeah. I'd like to think of probably. Travelled the amount I wanted to travel by then. Yeah, I, I'm the same. I definitely want to do some travelling overseas. Like, I really want to go to the US. Yeah. Um, Europe would probably be second behind the US. Yeah. If I could do those two, if I can go to two places overseas in the next 10 years, I'd be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just want to do all Europe. Yeah. There's not really any, like, I'd like to go to the US as well. Um, but, you know. Like South Africa and all that, you know, you know those sort of continents. Not really that interested, you know, Africa. And no, I'm not. In Asia, not really that interested in. But I wouldn't mind going as well. Yeah, oh, if you had the opportunity to take. Yeah, but I'm not. It's not something like I need to tick off my bucket list or anything like that. Yeah, I can't really see myself doing a lot in Africa. No, like I could sort of walk around, maybe check out a few giraffes and lions and, or whatever, yeah. and then sort of be like, maybe a bit more. Like, I wouldn't mind some water. South, maybe South Africa or, I mean, you know. Somewhere that's full of And then North America and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, maybe a bit more North South America. America America like Brazil well. and Argentina and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, North America. Got to like Mexico and um, what's the Caribbean through there and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that'll be good. But again, you know, it's not, if I don't do that before I die right now, I don't think I'm going to be too, be too upset about it. But too regretful. Yeah, I ho hopefully you've got all Europe and sort of the US out of the way. And, yeah, really thinking I would like to have settled down by then, I would have thought, yep. in 10 years' time. Yeah, that's probably ideal. Yep. Ideal way for most people to maybe, start to think about that. Maybe back playing footy, see how we go. Oh, hell. 31. I don't know how to Still go. Still being though. prime at that point. Oh, I don't know. It's hard if, this is my prime, if this is my prime now, I won't be playing when I'm 31. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back at Tarps Cricket, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, just, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully in a job that I enjoy, that I think I can... Finish my life, make a living. Yeah, yeah. yeah. retirement sort of job, you know, yeah. one that you think you can. Got to enjoy yourself. Yeah, what you know, what what sort of work you obviously being a teacher. Yeah, you know, can you, you know, find some like a school or something like that and sort of stick to it to the end or um, ideally. Well, I guess that's a good thing about being a teacher. No, where you go, there's always going to be work. Yeah. Uh, um. Well, there might not always be work, but like ninety percent of the places you go, you're going to walk straight into a job. Yeah. There's always going to be teachers uh, Whether there. you're, you're probably better if you're a good teacher, um, it's always going to be better for you, but even if you're a below average teacher, I still feel that you're going to be able to find a place somewhere. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I just, I think to do that for so long, the amount of kids that come through anyway, it's always changing so much. Yeah. You always get different, different kids come through. Different personalities. And, yeah, different personalities. Getting bad days, good days. Um, definitely get bad days. Um, but no, like, yeah, I think, I don't know if it's 
depends if it's at the same school or not. Like, I still think it's all sort of the same thing. Yeah. I'd definitely rather be in a country setting for a school, though. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't yeah. want to get stabbed in the city school. No, that's what I, you know, it's a bit more fun. They look like they have security guards at some of the schools in Adelaide. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's crazy. I think. Um, so, I was uh, hearing a story. A teacher that used to teach down here, um, taught in Adelaide. Seriously fears his safety every time he goes on yard duty. Really? Yeah. That's why they got security guards walking around. One that you used to work with? Um, nah, just missed him. Okay. Yeah. But when, when you were at school there? Yeah, yeah, he was there while I was at school. Yeah, right. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that probably rounds out that one. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks Eddie. Yeah, thanks Eddie, as always. Um, We got Liam. Liam. Liam Turley. Oh right, Turles. Turles. <laughs> hey Turles. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got just a pretty, pretty simple one. So, sort of would you rather sort of thing? Oh yes, I like this. Maxi Bon, drumstick or Magnums? Oh, that's a great question. Absolutely. Great question, but I feel like it's an easy answer. Um, well, definitely really? Maxi, Maxi Bon for sure. What was the what were the options again? Magnums or drumsticks? Or Maxi Bon. Maxi Bons. Maxi Bonds uh, is far superior to any other ice cream. Well, I can't fully agree on that. No. Um, really? It's got everything you want. It's got a bit of cookie, a bit of chocolate, a bit of ice cream. Yeah, but not even ice cream, you get cookie out of it. Oh, but the cookie's so good on a Maxi Yeah, Bond. well, that is true, but like... And then there's, you know, my favourite one's the caramel one, with a bit of the caramels in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But eating that cookie, and then there's that caramel swirl in there. <laughs> oh. Stop it. Good stuff. Yeah, great stuff. Well, I don't know. I feel like Maxi Bond gets messy. If nah, you get messy. Not if you know how to eat them. Yeah, why well, don't I know how to eat them? So okay, we need to learn. It gets messy. Do you go out, do you eat a biscuit first or do you eat your nah, ice cream? Nah, I eat ice cream first. Because you have Biscuit gets, can get a bit soft. Yeah. But it holds it all together. That's right. The ice cream starts to melt on you yeah, the chocolate. Yeah, if you try and hold the ice cream, I mean the chocolate, it's going to melt on your fingers as well. you got to go biscuit last. And it, the biscuits are the best bit. Yeah. So you go that last. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think Magnum straight is the best straight ice cream. The actual out ice of the cream. three. Mm. Pretty boring though. It's just. Nah, it depends what flavor you get. Oh uh, yeah, well, but it's just ice cream and um, chocolate around it. That's like basically that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Ice cream and chocolate around it. Drumstick. It's like a cone. You got all your your pretty stuff on top. Chocolate. Your chocolate, your sprinkles, yep. whatever else is on there. You get through the top of the chocolate, you get down to the cone. You get more chocolate. And there's like gooey stuff in there. Yeah. And then that's like, that really excites me. Yeah. So, so you yeah. eat through that more, yeah. then you get to the little chocolate bit at the bottom. Yeah. And that's like, that's the best thing. Yeah. But then the Maxibon swatch switches it again, like completely. It's got to be that. No, I don't know. I'm going, to be honest, I'm going, if I had to pick any of them, I'm going Magnum. You're going Magnum? Yeah. So you've just <laughs> talked all about the drum scene. Yeah, no, no, no. I like simple. Yeah. I like simple and I like quality. Yeah. And I'm not going for looks over Magnum's quality. good. Magnum is a very good one. Especially like the double layered chocolate yeah. ones. And then they have like some like fucking wicked flavour in there. If you ask me five or six years ago, it would have been Magnum. Yeah. They got rid of the Magnum Gold, so. Yeah, that How is true. How good were the Magnum, Magnum Golds? Golds were, um, that was probably one of the best were, ice creams I've ever They were S tier ice creams. Like, who gets rid of that? That was Magnum. I can't <laughs> believe they got rid of that. They were by oh, far their best. They actually were, like, unreal. Like, oh. Yeah, oh, so good. They even looked good, too. Yeah, they did. Like, that was, wasn't your boring. You're boring shit. They actually look good. Yeah, they have. It's a Magnum on steroids. Yeah, exactly right. And they just toned it down. They're still good, but like, yeah, they were next level. They were. It would have been an easy question. Yeah, it would have been a very easy question. But though. yeah, look, oh, I don't even know what I'm going with here. I'm going Magnum, Maxi Bond, Drumstick. Yeah, I'll give you that. You're allowed to have that. I'm obviously Maxi Bond, Magnum, Drumstick. Drumstick's last. Yeah. I don't like the I don't like the um the waffle. Don't like it. No, I just think it's a little bit boring, personally. Yeah. See, I like the stuff inside it. Like I was saying, I like the gooey stuff mm -hmm. inside, and then I like the chocolate at the bottom. 
But my, I'm not there for a workout, I'm not my jaw. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to get through it all. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. I'm just there to eat ice cream. You're just there to eat ice cream. I'm not there to fuck I just think it's a little bit boring, the ice cream. I don't think the actual ice cream. Like, you know, when you just get vanilla ice cream. But oh, no, you know, that's so good. No, but. <laughs> if I was like. If I was worried about my. Um, about my own well being, I'd grab a tub of ice cream every night and just eat it. What, just vanilla? No, not vanilla. Just ice cream. I'm just like. You know the um, connoisseur? Yeah, I know. Connoisseur I, I tons know. of ice cream. I know cream. exactly where you're going with this, yeah. Like. I said like I the magnets are S tier, they're like SS tier. Yeah, yeah, they're the best. SS tier. Oh, the best. You get like Belgian chocolate or there's like white chocolate and something else. Yep. I love the cookies and cream. Cookies and there's and a cream. spearmint one. They've Fuck got actual unreal. chocolate co- cookie in it. Like, oh. And then you just sit there with a spoon. Yeah. Chuck a movie on. And you just go ham. Just explain to him I said that not. <laughs> <laughs> I still got half a in there. Oh, no. Left Obviously, up. we went to, what was it? What, what, not that long ago, we were at Baz's. You guys were eating the ice cream. Oh, that was you there. I, yeah. thought, oh, I thought it was someone else. Nah, that was That's really exactly cool. what I was thinking of when and I was saying it. I was sitting, I was sitting there thinking, I can't wait to get home. Get, get, get into this ice cream. I just bought one like two days before. It's like, funny, yeah. funny Bazzo coming out from, he went to the freezer, grabbed it out, sat down, took the lid off, and I was just looking at him. Mm. And like, he looked at me, he was like, you want some? I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, please. And I was like, oh. I think it was the Belgian chocolate. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, that was... It's just something else. Like, it's something to write home about. Yeah. And they have some just wicked flavours. Like, yeah. just names. Like, they have, like, the macadamia and... Then yeah, so it's not huge on the macadamia, in, in, like, in general, but that macadamia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they've just got some fucking crazy, crazy um, recipes. Like, just, you know. Yeah. Like, um, the sort of shit that they bang together and you go, yeah. how does this work? How is this sort of... Yeah, thing? and it's like... It sounds like you go into, like, a restaurant to get, like... <laughs> This sort of ice cream, you know what I mean? Like, it's just yeah. that, that's the best one. Yeah. So we've just oh, overridden it. <laughs> we've just brought a fourth item in. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Ed, um, no, sorry, Lee, Eddie, tells. um, sorry, tells, um, connoisseur tons of ice cream. Take it all. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, bracket too. Yeah. But no, that's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, Magnum Maxibon dumpstick. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. That end of the day, that's it. Okay. Got that out of the way. That's good. Instagram's yep. done. Instagram's done. I love the Instagram questions, actually. Yeah, they were good. That, they were some quality ones this week, actually. Yeah, they were. I don't really... Like, they're all good. The ones that come in are always good. Yeah, there's always... It's very good. rarely just one that goes... That I look at and go, what the fuck? Why would you put that in? I feel like even the ones that I do, go kind of like, what the fuck? We end up putting them ones over some good ones. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason... Yeah, because always... it catches your eye. Yeah, and it, it. it makes you think a bit. So, you know, none of them are really bad at all. No, no, they're always good. Actually, take that back. We've had that one bad one from Brody. Do your Macca's orders back. Do your Macca's orders, yeah, no, no. But we got, that That came out good. That came, yeah. That, that, was, was, that was, yeah, we got something good out of that, didn't we? We haven't, we haven't done that yet, Fill of Fish. Have you? Um, no, I did the, what is it, the salted caramel yeah. frappe? Yeah, I've done that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that might have been better than a yeah. cup of ice cream. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Roscoe. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah. I don't think I've ever had something like a, like an ice drink mm. as good as that. No. We're talking about Roscoe, we uh, prepped for the potty, went in and watched a bit of ESPN 8, didn't we? Yeah, oh, <laughs> it was on KO, yeah, so it must come up every to- like nearly every time of year, because it was only all just sort of live streaming yeah. over the last week or so. Yeah, it's all just coming up on Facebook and stuff. So. Yeah, um, and we watched, what did we watch? We watched the Electrician World Championships. That was unreal, actually. That was actually really I, I really rated my, that. I could not take my eyes off that. It was so good. We watched the whole thing, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we watched the whole 35 minute episode of it. I had no idea what was going on, but I thought it was weird. Yeah, I sort of got, you know, because obviously do a sort of similar thing. Yeah. It was really interesting. It was good, like watching them, you know, trying to put conduits in and, um, you know, wiring up all the panels and stuff like yeah. that. It was <laughs> so funny. I had no idea what was going on. It was going so it was, fast. It was actually and, wicked to watch. Yeah, like. ripping down chip rock and stuff. You know, yeah, I'll make awesome. with the drill uh, up there. He just didn't get it straight. Yeah, he couldn't get it right, could he? Yeah. Had the holster on the angle, holster on the angle with the. Absolutely rookie. The uh, foot long six mil bit. I don't know why you have that in your whole store, but <laughs> whatever. I don't know why you just go with the normal six mil bit. But Ended up fucking it up, so. Yeah, did I'll say. You pretty drill it on sideways or something like that. Yeah, it was, it was on the piss. Because um, then you drew one at the bottom and then you drew one at the top. The weather pipe, whatever it was called, yeah. didn't come down straight, so yeah. I wouldn't hook up to the um, And then you had to the get the, the jigsaw out and fucking make the hole bigger and it just didn't look good after yeah, that. Yeah, no, so. it wasn't real flash. But I think they ended up coming second that group. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they, they managed to clean up their mess, yeah. um, which was all right. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. And uh, we tried to watch the XL, 
XL Championships. Yeah, the XL Spread Championships. XL Spread Championships. We got into the first 30 seconds of that one. Oh, this what for is us. this? Yeah, that sounds a bit complicated, but I'm sure um, Croc would love that. Yeah, it's Croc and Gator, they would like <laughs> that. They'd be up there watching it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what was the other one? Um, the slip and slide one, the slippy stairs. Yeah, the, the slippy stairs. Yeah, that's so, um, that's something I always want to do in person. Yeah, probably not amazing to watch. No, because no one's having a real crack. They're all just sort of going pretty slowly yeah. up there. Yeah, but I'm assuming it's pretty pretty slippery. Oh yeah, yeah you'd hope, you'd hope yeah, it's pretty slippery. The way they you know can't get up there and stuff, so that would be fun. It's yeah. good when they like someone gets the half over the top, then they fall behind and knock yeah. everyone out the way down. It was pretty quality. One guy um, was nearly at the top, and the guy behind him um, grabs his leg. Grabbed, did the full dive, he was fine, you know, he was stable, but he knew that this guy was going to get there, so he leaped, grabbed his leg, pulled him down. And they both come down. They both come down, brought everyone down That's with him. That's a dog ass. But that guy went on to win it, the one that jumped. And oh, really? So he really just saved his game he's there, just, he? he's just that, that was tactical, and it won. Obviously not against the rules, so... Well, give it to him. Good tactic It's just there. a shit, it's just a shit act, It's though. a shit, well, shit bloke move, but, yeah. you know, could got to do that sometimes to win. Yeah, so. that's right, get a... Um... Really got to dig in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then our favourite. Oh, 100 percent our favourite. Absolute favourite was the Hut Hut Championship. Roscoe did mention this one. Yes, the, this big, the big dick energy when they get it in. Massive the old dick ones. energy. <laughs> Holy shit, it was good to watch. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I like cannot stand golf and not a fan of mini golf. But I was on the edge of my seat watching this putt putt. The putt putt. It was just these three blokes look like the biggest dads. Ever. Yeah. The type of blokes that would mow their lawns and stand there with their hands on their hips. There's some big money to be won as well. Yeah, they were like... What, Greg, Greg, my man Greg, Gregos? Yeah. He came out with about eight grand, didn't he? Yeah. And my, then... This was my boy Louie. Yeah, well, he came out with about three or four, didn't he? Four grand, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then poor old Davo didn't get any. Davo got nothing. Davo on the home course as well. Yeah. And he, uh... Just couldn't get it done, could he? <laughs> couldn't pull out. Couldn't pull out for the home crowd. I think he... I think he still got four or five... Hole and ones, but they were the ones the other guys got. Them yeah, as well. yeah. Well, so the way, way it worked was eighteen holes, like a traditional course. Yeah. Um, each hole was worth a certain amount of money. I think so it was three hundred. Three hundred. Then it went up to seven fifty. Yeah. Then it went up to a grand. Yeah. Um, if you putt, you're safe, and it sort of carries on over. Yeah. So if all th- you know, if all of them get it in, or two of them get it in. The money goes over the next hole. Yeah, so it adds on. together. Yeah, so Sorry, it'll be if the first two holes are both worth three hundred. The next, so the first one's worth three hundred, and the second one's worth three hundred. And no one wins it on the first one. It carries over, it becomes six hundred for the second. Yeah, one. that's right. And then it's whoever. It's like a raffle draw on a Thursday. Yeah, and then it's basically whoever gets one in, and no one else gets it in, they win the money. Yeah, whatever's up for play. So I reckon your bloke fucking up. We pulled in five grand at one point because they didn't miss for ages. Yeah, and then they all, then the other two missed. Yeah, I think yeah they went all they all went in. You know there was at least two two of them getting it in after all the way up to the nine. Yeah, and then he pulled he just hit it and no one else got it and he I think he walked away at four and a half. Yeah, it was four and a half. I love the way that the way that they were talking about it, like it was a proper sport and yeah. it's like mate you're doing putt putt you're yeah. doing putt putt golf. I just loved all the old guys in sandals standing there watching it. Yeah, <laughs> and then the kids coming in with the pants up to like up in the middle. Yeah, the they're all standing. In. They're all standing across the lane, heads over, like leaning over, trying to see. Yeah, that's the thing. We're on the couch like that as well. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon yeah. that's in, I reckon that's in. Mm. But yeah, it looked like great fun. Yeah, no, it's actually good. I reckon uh, if you've got a chance to get on KO and, um, and watch, eight. yeah, search up the ESPN Ocho, O-C-H-O, mm. and find the putt putt. I think it's a 20 minute video. Yeah. Best 20 minutes of your life. Yeah, so good. We were on the AGRC the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. You, and I think, like Rosco said, you do have to be in the mood, though. Oh, yeah, you got to be around so. people that are willing to want to watch it with well, you. We, we weren't in the mood to start with, but I got into it after like, the first half. Yeah, I think you know, just being around the right sort of people as well. But, like, mm. You can't sort of sit there and watch it by yourself. I would have thought. No, oh, maybe. Oh. depends. You know how you go, but yeah. it's way more fun. I reckon watching it with a group of people. Oh yeah, definitely for sure. So. Everyone's sort of getting around it. But yes, yeah, so that was good quality. Yeah, um, no. that was quite enjoyable. Um, yeah. yeah. Should we get into the? Hottest 100. See, what, what the fuck are we just talking about to get onto that? Uh, we're talking about the Field of Fish, and then Roscoe, and then bringing that up. Yeah, right. <laughs> what was the top thing? Was there a question or something? No, we were just talking about how good our questions were. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we'll just lead onto that. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, we'll get into the uh, Rich on Toddy Potty. Hottest Hungy. The Rich on Toddy Hungy. Hungy. No, I'm sorry. 
Right. Um, I'll start her off. Do you know what number we're starting at? Uh, we are now at. Shit, we're in the. 40s so this now. is 50. So this is 50. Okay, so at 50, we have Read My Mind by The Killers. Your song? My song. Um, this one is off of like a version, actually, for me. Yep. My favourite version is Catfish in the Bottlemen's version of this. Okay. They do a, did it for like a version. Yep. Got me into the song. But the actual song is just quality. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. Um, Killers, Hard to Go Past. Yeah. Pretty, pretty solid band. Still ruined by Jack Reynolds. Yeah, not for me, but yeah. Yeah, fine. Um, I have never watched it, so I will re refuse yeah, to watch that to the day I it. die because that was obviously 2017. So everything on that day is haunted for me. Okay. But um, yeah, great song, great album. Yep. Um, Very good. Classic. Yep. Yep. Um, so that means we're on 41. Yep. Um, Bulls on Parade by Rage Against the Machine, my um, first song of the 10. 90s classic. Yes, um, very, very upbeat and very um, hard song. Mm. This is one of the ones that mum would used to play in the car and sort of get around that a fair bit. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, no. This is, um, if I'm trying to get pumped up for something, this is probably one of the songs I listen to. Yeah, bit of one pre footy games. Yeah, oh, yeah, sort of. Not anymore, but. <laughs> no, nah, not anymore, but like, yeah, no. Just a, just a good song, gets me pretty. Um, if I'm in my field, like, not in my field, but in the mood, I would belt it out yep. with, the, with the sound rolled up. Nice. Classic. All right. 48. Yep. Me again. Um, I reckon we're probably in my third or fourth Kanye song here. Yep. Um, family business in the original college dropout. Absolute album. shame. Yes. Such a good song. One of the ones I haven't been on, wasn't one, I uh, wasn't on from the start yep. until I watched his doco. And I really got into that album. And my, yeah, this is definitely a top three song on that album. I've actually got two more to come up later in the hundred. Yeah. Um, but there are a lot of good songs on that album. A very, very good song. Very, very good song. Um, but yeah, that's one, of, it's a bit, it's a little bit slower than some of the other stuff. So like, you can sort of sit there and just wrap it out to yourself. Yeah, it's a bit chill. Bit of a chill mood sort of yeah. song sometimes. But yeah. All right, on a mine, it's, Number 47. Shit, I don't know. Yep, 47. Yeah. I Am the Resurrection by The Stone Roses. Yeah. I think I've had a Stone Roses in my mouth. No, I don't think I have. Uh, I think there's one deeper. There's one yeah. deeper. That might be my only other one, actually. Oh, um, no, 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 this is the one. Yep. Yeah, yeah this is the one. That's the uh, Man United entry song. Yep. They entered that one. But um, I Am the Resurrection probably was my favourite song up until about a year ago oh, by really? The Stone Roses. Yeah, so do I. It's dropped down a bit. Yeah. Um, it's probably the fact it's a seven and a half minute song and four and a half minutes is just tunes. Um, Ben's just giving us a finger, ben, sorry. Yeah, bloody Ben. Just got home off work. Um, yeah, so probably the fact that it's a seven and a half minute song. Yeah. Four and a half minutes is just music interlude at the end, okay. which is good quality stuff. So I do rate it, but um, can't beat the other one. And it's just probably dropped away from me a bit. Yeah. But Classic song. It's what happens to songs, doesn't it? Yeah. Sort of, yeah. You bash them for a bit and then they sort of drop off. I'm sure in about 12 months time this will be in my top 10. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, It'll come yeah, and go. It changes. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Um, I'm in again at 46. 46 with, in my opinion, an Australian classic, but apparently some people don't know this song. I know the chorus of it. Um, so that's the only way I picked it up. Don't Dream It's Over by Crowded House. Yeah. Now, Crowded House for me are like probably my favourite Australian band. Mm. Favourite like old classic Australian band. Okay. Yeah. Um, and this is their best song. Um, anyone hears the chorus and they know what I would have thought. Yeah. No. It's a pretty. I didn't memory. know any. I didn't know it before the chorus. My memory. I don't know. I I've always had this memory of when I was little. Mum singing it to me a lot. Yeah. Because oh, I loved it so much. And you knew it like I must have sung it or something or. Just. Obviously, like it from a young age, yeah. and it stuck with me since. And then probably didn't listen to it like through my teens and stuff like that, and came back to me right at the end. Yeah, and of course. Yeah. I think I had a trip with a trip to Adelaide with Mum, and we put a one on and loved all the songs on it. Yeah, it was just a good, you know, sort of moment. So yeah, yeah. no, it was good. Uh, that, so, that sticks with you. Yeah, it was a good, enjoyable trip, and the song obviously stuck since. So yeah, yeah that's why it's there for me. Cool. Um, go on for me now, 45, is that right? That's correct. Yes, cool. We're going to do this every single time we read out a song. Yep. Uh, Redbone by Childish Gambino. 
Um, yeah, this is an old time tune. Yep. I, um, this is probably yeah one of the first songs I really got into right when I got Spotify. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, didn't get to go see Childish Gambino at spin off a few years ago, which yeah. I really wanted to. Um, well, I went to the first half of it and left. It was no good. Oh, I think it was just top. Yeah, fair enough. But it wasn't. He wasn't as good as I thought. He'd be. Yeah, no. He's one of those ones yeah. you probably got high expectations for and get let down in the end. A lot of talk, not a lot of. Yeah, see, that's bullshit. It's yeah. like Jack Harlow. Yeah, spin-off. a lot, a lot of yappy yappa. Just shut up and play your music, mate. Shut it, Shanice. Shut it, Shanice. But, uh, yeah, no, very good. Just the way. Just the way um, the. I guess the voice sounds like yeah. just really makes you like catch on to it. Yeah, it's great. But yeah, great song. And yeah, great lyrics on it. Great um, lyrics. Vocals are great. Um, yeah. So, 45. 44. 44. Mr. Tambourine Man by Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. One of the greats. Bob Dylan, a name I know, not, but not much about. Really? Yeah. Um, massive Bob Dylan fan. Yeah. Um, very. Probably the one of the greatest songwriters of all time. Yep. Out of the, that's probably out of the debate. So, um, this is my favourite Bob Dylan song. I'd say. Got lots of, um, I don't know, just the just the way it goes, the melody. Yep. Just beautiful. Um, there was a period here, but okay, it was an unskippable song. Yeah. Okay, like, yeah. and I could have heard it five minutes before and laugh back on again. Yeah. Uh, I, ha- I have to. We'll listen play it again. We we'll have to listen to it again. Um, it was just yeah. I went through that period. Um, Bob Dylan's obviously a very um, uses his music for important things. Yeah. Obviously, in his time, like on racism and stuff like that, which is very powerful and very um, important musician in my music catalog. Catalog. In the catalog. Yeah. The Richo catalog. Yeah, the Richo catalog. So yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Had to put one in there, and that yep. was probably my choice. Yep. Fair enough. Um, 43, yes. Yep. Everlong by Foo Fighters. Another one of those ones that um, reminds me of driving around in the car with mum. Yep. Um, reminds me of Wolf of Wall Street. Mm. Um, when they're on the yacht there. Yep. Um, very, very close between this and the acoustic version. The acoustic version by far for me. Oh, really? I'm... I used to like Foo Fighters. I used to like Foo Fighters, and then I sort of just gone. They all sound the same. Not fan, but yeah. this acoustic version, unreal. Acoustic version is very good. Yeah, I think just because that's the original song, and that's what I've always heard. Yeah, but the acoustic version comes on, and yeah, it's just pretty, different. It's pretty unskippable, to be honest. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It's just yeah, it just all goes so up. Probably it just it's a better tune than the song, but it's just hard to beat the original. Yeah, because it's the original. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, I get that. But yeah, no, very good song. Um, the Foo Fighters' best song ever long. Um, yeah, for sure. Like you said, they all do sound a bit the same, but no. Mm. This is a, yeah, absolute classic for me. Definitely yeah. has to be in there. True. Um, in at 42. The last one. My last one, debatably, because the next one for you is both ours. Oh yeah, that's right. We both have that one in there, but yes, my last one. Beast of Burden by... Rolling Stones. Yeah. Not a massive Rolling Stones fan, yeah. to be honest. No, like, they're, uh, that's, they're probably my sort of music, I guess, but I've never wow. really got into them. And I heard, I remember hearing this song for the first time and just going, wow. Like, it was just one of those songs you can hear it and you go, this is a bit of me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is me. Yeah. So, Save you up in the song. Yeah. Just thrashed it. Love it. Just the, ch- the, the tune. Just the, it's just so chill. Just yeah. feels like the 70s, like. Yeah. Just that's definitely your sort playing of playing this on a Saturday morning, going to cricket or something like that, or just a, a nice sunny <laughs> summer day. Yeah, it's a nice, a nice day su- sunny day. It just gets you up going. Yeah. Or a Friday afternoon, a Saturday, a Friday afternoon with a bit of sun. Just knocked off. Just before you go, to, you know, get feeling like this. Just oh, gets me going. Yeah, gets me excited. Just Mick Jagger's voice is hard to beat. So yeah, yeah. I love, love, it. love those songs. Just. You just chuck it on before something great's about to happen. Yeah, you know, it's like, in the mood. Yeah, it just, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm good here. I'm, yeah, we're on. Yeah, now we're on for one. Yeah. Alright, so that was. That was 42. 42. Yep. Yeah, 41, this song. Oh. I don't know, it could have definitely went higher. I don't know how it didn't, actually. Yeah, you actually had it lower. I did, I did. Um, probably because I had just gone through a thrash point through it and 
probably just got dropped off for me. It was in my drop off point. But I did it again, I thought it'd be higher. No. I reckon if we did this again in two months, which will be just after we see it live, yep. I reckon it would be top 10. Probably. Yeah, probably. Um, we're, of course, talking about Naive by the Kooks. Oh, so. L uh, I love 41. I love the Kooks. Yeah. When you think about it, when you say it's 41, it was 20 in your list, so it's still. Yeah, but well, it's still high, isn't it? Yeah, it was 20 in my list. It would have been like 30 in yours or something, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, I love this band. Yeah, such such a good song. I think we um I think we might have belted this out on the way home from spin off. Yeah, the car, didn't we? sure did. Yeah, oh, as song. well as every other time we've been on a trip. Yeah, or that's right. Like, but I reckon spin off coming over, it, it was extra loud that day. Yeah, no, I had it. I had to turn right up. Yeah. Um, that but, and one other song coming up later. Yeah, no. Later in the countdown, it's getting better. Um, it is. It is. We'll get to it eventually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> but no, we we'll be going to uh, going to Grapevine. Yes. Um, to see this song live, the Cooks are playing there. It's become a bit of a. Uh, I'm keen. I'm so very keen. keen. I was, but I'm pretty happy. I probably wouldn't have done anything about that if I wasn't for you. you going, remember, going to that. Going to that. Yeah, I, I wanted everyone to go because I um I seen the event and thought, yeah, that looks pretty good, and put you interested on it. Mm. Thirty seconds later, I get a message from Toddy. Yeah, you're on here. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we're this, getting into it. This is good. It puts it in the group chat. We're going. We're, go we're definitely going. And then got our little boys get one. And it's sold out now, isn't it? Like, it's. Yeah, it's, no, it's I sold, didn't out within, sold out within a week, I think. I didn't realise that it's, you know, going to be as big as it is. Yeah. I thought it'd just be a good, quiet one on McLaren Vale, you know. I'm actually more keen for that than spin off. Yeah, yeah, I, I think the totally, lineup's a lot better. Yeah, it's, it's smaller, obviously. Yeah, but the, it's better quality. Yeah, it's a bit like my sort of. Yeah, my obviously. Sort of music. What is it? There's um, the Kooks. The Kooks. Peking Dark. Peking Dark, which will be unreal. Full Park Music. Full Park again. Music. They were so good at spin off. They were very good. And um, the Veronicas. The Veronicas. That's gonna be. Oh. Yeah, I think. I really yeah. wanted to see the Veronicas when. Um, they went to go to Groove and just before COVID happened. Ah, yes. I yeah. like, was so excited for it, so I'm very excited to see them now. Oh, yes. I think it'll be better now, too, actually. The Veronica's? Yeah, now, you know. That the song's really been have... even more. Yeah, I don't think, I reckon back then we probably weren't, obviously we weren't very good mates at the time. No. no. Well, we were, we were mates, but we yeah. didn't. Now, I'm, at but, Groove and now, I don't think we really know each other. No, probably not, really, before COVID. We wouldn't have actually known each other. But like I love that song. Yeah. I didn't really know anyone else that did, so it was like it was gonna be my thing. Whereas yeah. now all the boys love it, so and you love it, so we'll have it to you know. Oh yeah, like that is thing. Yeah. So that when it comes on the like deep on the dance floor, it goes off. Yeah. Imagine when there's twenty thousand people around you. Probably not twenty thousand people. Ten thousand people around you yeah. all singing it. Yeah, it's gonna be and all jumping up and down to it. Oh, yeah. it's gonna be. You go. It's gonna be biblical. Go. Um, no, 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 no. Confidence man is there as well. Like the confidence yeah, confidence man will be good. Not, yeah, right. not, you know, not my sort of thing. No, but, but it'll be I've right. heard a couple of his, uh, a couple of the songs. Yeah, the uh, it's hosted by the Inspired Unemployed. Yeah, they're quality. They are very good. They're quality. funny. They are funny guys. Um, might have to get a bit of a lip on with them. I reckon. Yeah, no, we can. definitely gonna try and lip up to them after I've had a few bubbles. Yeah. Um, Our podcast is better than yours. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I've got much. Uh, <laughs> haven't got much backing behind that. No, no, probably not, but. Still worth a shout. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> These people think they are, we are because they listen to ours, not theirs. They probably listen to theirs too. But not necessarily. No. I, I feel like a lot of people that I talk to that listen to ours don't listen to the other ones. Okay. Not just because it's a local thing, there. Yeah, maybe. But yeah. Oh, good on. Mm. So that's our uh, hungie for the week as well. Yeah. And that's our show, I reckon. You reckon? That's 50 minutes. Wow, we've been done. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Fire out. <laughs> Come here, what did we say at the start? Oh, we'll just, you know, we, you know yeah. we'll just go quick 30. Gotta be completely honest, was not, did not want to do it. No. Nah, could not be bothered. If I don't know if you can hear it, but there's rain in the background. It's a cold, wet night. Yeah, and, and we were watching the odd show and we, I was very comfy on the couch. Very warm in there. Obviously, I haven't got the fire on in here. We'll have to start doing that, I reckon. Get the oh, it's going to get warmer from here, though, so. When, yeah. the, when the boys come next week, um, we'll get it on we'll have to. Yeah, we we'll have to organise that. But yeah, but yeah, no, we'll like we'll just read out the Instagram questions, read out the Hanji, talk about some sport, which I don't even really want to talk about. Um, but <laughs> that was going to take us half an hour, but it's taken us the next twenty five minutes. So. Yeah, it has. Mm. So no, that's good. I think um, yeah. So next week should be double trouble, um, and then we've got a few more others that are keen as well. So 
over the next month or so, I'll actually not be. I'll be gone in two weeks, so we'll have yeah, to miss a week. Have a bit of a hiatus. I am yes, going away to the Gold Coast. Are we only going to miss one or two? One. One. Oh really? That's yeah. Right, only going to miss one. Uh, yeah, I'll be away in the Gold Coast. We could do like a little. Maybe like a little FaceTime yep. screen recording or something that we can put up. Yeah, you might be able to put some stuff up from the Gold Coast. I can do that. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, so they'll be missing a week, but before then we should, we'll be able to get two more in. Yeah. Two more in, and that should be some good quality. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Get some good stuff in there. So, um, yeah, I think that's us before the rain picks up too much. Yeah, now you definitely can hear it. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, signing off for the Rich on Toddy Potty. All the best. <laughs>